I'm like slightly sick right now and my nose is really stuffy and I keep forgetting to breathe when I'm talking and then getting really winded and out of breath and I just hate it. What is up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Jessie's Journey, or if you're new here, hello, my name is Jessie. I'm an American expat living in Prague. I travel a lot, I make videos about it, I post travel tips, all that kind of stuff. So if that's the type of content that you enjoy, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you get all my video updates in the future. And yeah! Let's get into the video. Okay, so today's video is an exciting one just because I'm a weirdo who really enjoys packing and I'm making a video about packing, so it's just like speaking it to my soul. But I know there are a lot of people who don't enjoy packing. I've said packing like a hundred times so far in this intro. Um, but this video is for you then to make it easy, make it simple on you. So yeah, let's hop into the video. Before I jump behind the camera and show you everything that is in my bag, I'm going to show you my go-to backpack when it comes to backpacking. And that is this baby. Probably not in frame, you probably can't see it. I love it. It's the Tom Bin Aeronaut 45. I'll leave a link to it below. Um, but honestly, like, I am obsessed with this. Recently, I had to go on a trip where I didn't have it with me, and I felt so naked without it. Like, it's just like my safety net, my comfort zone when it comes to traveling. Now, I know it doesn't look like a typical backpacker's backpack, um, but that is why I like it. It's very big. There's a lot that you can fit into this, but it has structure. It's kind of square and firm, so it fits really comfortably on your neck um, and on your back, but then it also like packs really well. I feel like I don't just lose stuff at the bottom of my backpack or have to like dig through everything. And also it like, it comes with a handle on top so you can carry it as hand luggage and backpack straps on the back. Um, and it actually zips this way and opens this way. So it just makes it clearer. It's almost like a suitcase, a backpack suitcase, which that's what backpacks are. Hmm questioning everything. Um, but yeah, it just makes it easier to pack in and I really, really love it. It's perfect for carry-on sizes. I've never had any problems even with discount airlines getting on the flight. They do have a smaller size, the Aeronaut 30, which is also a great option if you're not doing like extended travel bling um, and you just want a quick little carry-on to chuck some stuff in. But yeah, I think this is great. The longest trip I've used this for was a month and a half when I traveled around Italy and then Croatia and I was able to fit everything I needed in for that month and a half in here without feeling like one it wasn't super heavy like it was easy to carry it was comfortable to carry and um, that's two not three um and also yeah it, like everything fit it wasn't super packed so yeah i highly recommend this backpack also not spawn but just really great i'm obsessed it's my baby okay so i just wanted to give a general like better image as to like what the bag actually looks like um as you can see it's kind of squared and structured and then this part opens here um so you can pack inside you have side packages a mesh package where you can put um like dirty laundry in and yeah it has straps inside so everything can latch and then what i also really like about it on the back here underneath the backpack straps this is actually where the straps tuck in but there's a pocket there um, and that's where i put my valuables like my laptop um any of my important documents stuff like that so that when i'm wearing my backpack it's flush against my back and nobody can get into it my other travel must that I have with me at all times is this bag here it's the 31 brand it's actually I think supposed to be for receipts and documents but I changed it to be my toiletry bag oh there's a plastic bag always have spare plastic bags with you um, but yeah this just has different compartments in it so I can put all my toiletries makeup stuff like that in it and just keeps it nice and organized for me Okay, so I am a firm believer of having just four quality outfits with you that you can mix and match, wear a bunch that don't wrinkle and are just like super comfy, easy to wear. I also think it's easier when you go in a monochromatic tone or if you're gonna wear a bunch of color that you wear similar color tones um, just so you can mix and match easily and not have to bring a bunch of different bottoms or like, pa yeah, pants skirts, etc. Um, so these are my go-to outfits that I always bring with me. Let me get a little bit closer here. Um, so on the left first, I have a plain white t-shirt. I think it's pretty standard. Um, you can wear it like fancy with a skirt. You can wear it um, with all different types of bottoms, jeans, leggings, etc. Um, it's easy to throw on. Um, it's a plain white cotton t-shirt. It doesn't wrinkle too bad. And if you do, I usually just like wash it get it wet um, and then lay it out to dry overnight and it's all good um, and so yeah i think it's a classic you have to have um, my next shirt right there is actually a tank top it's a turtleneck tank top just a striped shirt um, and i think it's just a simple classic i can layer it so in the summer it's great because it's a tank top so it's nice and cool um, but then I can layer it with a flannel over top or a denim jacket 
jacket or a cardigan to make it accessible for winter. So I think that's definitely an awesome, simple, easy piece. Um, my next piece here is a gingham style. Um, once again, black and white checked. Um, I really actually, let me see if I can get the sleeves out for this one. I love the sleeves on this. It has little like bell sleeves and ties, so it's a little bit fancier of a shirt, um, which I like, but it's still a really lightweight fabric, um, which makes it super easy to travel with. It doesn't wrinkle at all. Um, it's super comfy, um, And but then like I can dress it up if I'm going to a nice event at night, like maybe going to a show or out to a nice dinner. Um, I can wear that um, and look more put together and not so backpacky, backpackery. Um, and then my last one is just a plain black long sleeve work shirt. It's easy just to chuck on. I don't need to, I can button up, not wear anything underneath, or I can use it to layer. Like usually I'll leave it unbuttoned and put it over top of the turtleneck or the white t-shirt. So I think it's just an easy layer piece. Um, and then I also have this little neck scarf. It was actually my mom's from when she was my age, um, but it's red, which I just think is a good complimentary color to go with all these outfits. Add a little pop of color. Um, I can use it to mix up my outfits, just tie it around my neck and look super put together. Okay, moving on to bottoms, dash, dresses, and skirts. Um, they all mix and match well with all my tops that I brought. Um, and so once again, they're like in basically the same color scheme, although I do have a pop of blue, ooh, risque. Um, but starting on the left, I have a pair of leggings. I know there's controversy about wearing leggings as pants, but honestly, I'm all for it. Um, the pair that I have here are actually velvet leggings, which I love. It just adds a se something special to the outfit um, and isn't just a standard legging. Um, my next pair of pants are just plain black trousers. Um, if you're not into trousers, you could easily substitute jeans, whether it be like a dark wash skinny jean or just like a plain black skinny jean. Um, I think either of those would go well with that, but I prefer these just because they're like that lightweight, like swishy material. I don't know what it's actually called, but it makes it great for like in the summer. It's not too hot. Um, it's comfortable to wear on a plane. And then also in the winter, their pants, they cover your leg and it's warm. Okay, my next thing is a pair of dungarees um, as like a dress. So what's that called? Like a, um, I forget what they're called. Like a jumper? I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's a pair of coveralls, but instead of like shorts, it's a skirt, which I like. It's kind of more casual of an outfit, but it pairs well with all my shirts. Um, and I think it just makes it a little cute. Um, and it's something that for the winter, um, I can put on a pair of black tights underneath and still be warm and cozy and still have a cute outfit. And then for the summer, obviously, bare legs are the way to go when it gets freaking hot. Um, and so, yeah, just an overall versatile piece. And then my last pair of bottoms um, is just a plain black cotton skirt. Um, this was truly a lifesaver during my month and a half in Italy and Croatia. I just found myself chucking it on over everything, including like if I was just running down to the beach, I would throw it on with my swimsuit um, and not even bother about a top. So yeah, definitely necessary. And as you can see with all of my clothes here, all the color scheme goes together. They all match. They can all be mixed and matched. Definitely necessary. Okay, so when it comes to outerwear, this is really all I would bring. Now, if it is the summer, I'm probably gonna just ditch this, leave it behind, and instead of boots, I'll just bring plain black Birkenstocks, which is what I traveled through Italy with and to Croatia this summer. Um, but basically for any other season, fall, winter, spring, these are my go-to pieces. Um, if I'm really traveling in the dead of winter, I might switch out my denim jacket for like a really heavy black pea coat, but once again, black, so it goes with everything. Um, but the boots are a must, they're the most comfortable thing. I think I got them for like $8 here. They're actually starting to show some wear and tear, and I think I'm gonna have to replace them soon, which makes me sad. But if you're not into boots, get a pair of plain sneakers that you can wear. Um, honestly, I think people who travel with more than one pair of shoes are ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you do wanna bring both boots and sneakers or something like that, I would just recommend tying your shoelace strings together and tying it onto your backpack. Um, but then yeah, the denim jacket is a big moto jacket. I think I got it from Topshop, holla at that. Um, but it's super thick, super heavy, kind of oversized, so it pairs well with all my outfits. And then I have a big blanket scarf, which I love traveling with. I always wear it when I'm on the airplane, um, just to kind of like have a little extra bit of cozy with me. And I will say um, one thing that I would maybe consider packing um, with all of these clothes in the winter time, once it gets colder, is maybe like an oversized black cardigan like something that's a little thicker and warmer that i can layer over a shirt underneath the jacket um, but i don't currently have one right now it's not quite cold enough for me to buy one and i'm putting it off until i absolutely have to but yeah i would say maybe add that um, and yeah then you're good to go clothes wise 
Okay, so last step clothes wise, all you really need is a pair of PJs, bras, underwear, socks, stuff like that. Um, and so yeah, I have just a plain pair of sweatpants and an oversized t-shirt that I would wear in the winter. If it's summer and it's really hot, I'd probably just ditch the pants and wear the oversized t-shirt. Um, a couple pair of socks, I say, depending on how long you're going, take no more than like a week's worth of socks and underwear. You can always wash along the way. You can usually find a laundromat or if you're staying in an Airbnb, have a washing machine or worst case scenario, you can sink wash really it's not as bad as it sounds um, and then bra wise that's actually um, right there is a swimsuit top I'm a weirdo who wears swimsuit tops instead of bras because you know what you yellow well, life's too short for that but it's also really convenient because then when I want to go swimming I can just go swimming so obviously then I need swimsuit bottoms to pack as well if I'm going anywhere tropical where I'll be swimming but yeah basically keeps it simple keeps it easy for me and those are all my clothes so now let's get all of this into bed I know everybody has their own style of packing that they prefer, but for me, I like the rolling technique. I do think it works best. It makes everything as small as it needs to be, and it also helps it not wrinkle. Um, and then on top of it, I like to organize where like my heavier things, like my denim dress that I have, um, any kind of sweaters, thicker material things, I put towards the bottom of my rolls, where it would be sitting in the bottom of my backpack if it was on, and then I work up later. And then I put my underwear and socks in a separate pocket, just so I can have them separate. There's one on top and one on the bottom of my backpack the one on top I keep is clean and then I can put the dirty stuff in the bottom as I go okay so I basically have it all my clothes packed now this would be what I would wear on the airplane I'm just gonna go with my black trousers the printed shirt with my denim jacket over top and the scarf my boots obviously um, and then yeah everything else is in here now I'm not gonna show you my toiletries that I pack just because I feel like that would make this video extra long but I basically I just fill them up with this and then lay it on top so it's easy access but you can see all my clothes are in there um, super easy peasy if I wanted to fit a book in there I could although I usually put it in my purse um, so I have it on hand and my journals, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so this would zip up. Um, I have my little neck scarf tied on top. Super easy, super light. Everything fits perfectly and there's plenty of room. So if I wanted to buy souvenirs, I could buy souvenirs. Alrighty, that's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, family, you know the drill, strangers on the street, anyone you meet, that rhyme, I'm basically Dr. Seuss. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more video updates in the future. I post every Tuesday with some type of travel-related content. So until next time, bye guys!